game begins. Hello everybody, this is your commentator and also game player, Multi12689, and welcome to Let's Play Kirby 64, or Kirby in the Crystal Stars. Shards? Stars. Yes, shards. They're not stars, they're shards. This is Mario. First of all, I'm going to settings and I'm changing my settings to number... Let's actually change it to mm, five. Okay. And let us begin with another cutscene. Huzzah. No, I'll tell the people later. No! I'm just, yes! And thus, this starts the story of this game. So pretty much, as you saw, the fairy lady pretty much came from another planet because she was escaping something, which is the main boss is called Doc, or the main person behind this is called Doc Matter. Pretty much she was trying to take powerful crystal shards of the universe. Really, game? Really? And pretty much now that Kirby found it, found that she was in trouble, of course, like the little puff ball he is, he's going to help. Okay, to begin, let's start. Put the playing it on this on the 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 slash we. So, B is to inhale and use attacks. Pretty simple, huh? A is to jump. X is to sh take out abilities. B is to throw them. Um, Y and A do the exact same thing. Mm. Yeah, and that's it. The control sticks to move. So let's continue on our little merry adventure and go forth. Hut! What a jerk wad. Double next ability! Double boomerang! This is what makes this Kirby game different from all of them. Even the aspect that it's 3D, and the, all the backgrounds are so beautiful. Kirby can mix two abilities to make new ab two abilities to make a cooler ability. And this boss is ridiculously easy. What whatever will I do? If you're not gonna fight back, you will lose. This is the so this is what if you think this is what Canadians live in, then you guys are so badly mistaken. Yeah. Anyhow and anyways. Spike. I love Spike. Ow, Sonic. Sonic. Getting all getting at least I believe it. I like to say 30 or 40 of the star pieces give you a one up. Ow. What a dink. You first dink. Give me that bomb power. Let's mix it. Ah. Wow, that didn't work. The, uh, the good thing about this game is that enemies respawn. Also, when you eat enemies and then press Y, you, they, some of them do a different ability. So for as long as I keep beating this guy and then pressing the X button, that's when I hit the ground, he can just keep doing stuff. Yep. That's pretty nifty, got to say. Anyway. I want to show you a mixture of fire and bomb. Fire your box. And using a bomb ability will give you the first crystals. 
well, second, actually, first school show. Cutscene! He grew hair and has an eye. Two of one eye instead of two. I'm explosive today. And now, that boss actually isn't that hard, I just wanted to show you that you can get her on the first boss, so really all you gotta do is avoid his running attack, and the stars that he shoots up when he falls. This is the bonus minigame. Bonus minigame can get you unlockable enemy cards, or just basic stuff that you want to continue the story with. I'm gonna go for the card. Hiya! Enemy card. Just so you know, I'm not going to get all the enemy cards because most of them come with random luck. Just so you know. Ugh. Camera rise. Peace. Ah, oh, dang it. Ow. Rock. Double Rock Kirby equals Humongous Mountain Kirby or Stone Golem Kirby. Yes. Pretty neat. Okay, time to roll. Kirby is invisible as long as he's in rock form, but he will not be able to float or do anything else. So I do not matter. First instance of electricity, and we have bombing electricity. I'm smart, of course. Lightning gives you static electricity barrier. But if you get double lightning, son of a you don't be a jerk from showing off some of the abilities already. Yeah, double electricity gets you side beam. I'll show you how, how that works in the next one. Anything that steps in that radius will automatically get shot. This is actually good for a certain boss that we will be fighting later. And actually, I think they're like a lightning guy here. Give me your powers! Shocking, isn't it? Ice and lightning. Something that's actually kind of beneficial. I'm throwing my food at you. I'm going to eat my food. That also does replenish your health, so if you're ever in the need of health, actually having this is an actual decent item to have. So yeah, let's keep on going. Excuse me, you two. Don't want to deal with none of your shenanigans. Hey, Waddle I will get on as soon as you go. We go, my pal. Refrigerated food for all. The next crystal shard is down there with a bunch of those yellow stars. Shut up quickly, and you win. Also, different from the other Kirby games, well, pretty much all the Game Boy ones, I would like to say. 
he doesn't have an infinite float, so yeah. Just thought you should would should know that. But the more you pass the air, the higher he'll go. Because he only stays in the air for about 10 seconds. Beware of the falling foods. Be very scared of mine. Be very scared of a healthy diet. Refrigerated food. Great refrigerated. I really wonder what that is. Well, it missed me. Be afraid of refrigerated food. Many boss inside a boss battle. What? Again, be afraid of refrigerated foods. Stop showing up. Eat my food. Yes, you better be scared of my refrigerator. Yes, and we get the last crystal shard for the what, level. Next, next level. Yahoo! The first world will only have four levels. All of us of them, I believe, will have either five or six. La la la, la and I think I'm gonna have. I'm finished with that for now. No more refrigerating. Bye 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 bye. bye. Lock on targets. Bop, 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 bop. We already know what double fire is. Give me that cutter. Hoi! Ah, you jumped. What a, what a decisive guy. By the way, when you're also using Boomerang Kirby, you can also not, you can't also run or fly for that matter, because you look, because you threw your face. I'm a knight. I am not nice. Well, goodbye to you then. Bye. Don't you want to talk to somebody who's not nice? What a jerk face. Gotta get this. Now let's fly. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I made it. Or to get one of the crystal stars, which... Here. Which is coming right up. We need double cutter to get the first crystal star here. This is an instance of one of many where you have to have a combination of a power or a type of power to get a crystal star. And also before I mention, I'm not getting all the cards, but I am getting all the crystal shards. And actually this is the only Kirby game that I actually have that's not an emulator. Yeah, so that's pretty good. 
Oi, 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 oi. Wrong my face. Getting double cutter will break that in. You have your first star shot. I'll say star shot. Watch this. One up achieved. I think I'll break this up into two parts just so I can so I can record the boss for this world. Because most of these are I'm gonna have cutscenes. Just that um, the first world is the most cutscene heavy. And actually now that I don't need this anymore, I'll eat this. And just move on. Dip, da, da, da. Out of my way, please. Going upstairs. There's a lot of stairs up in here. And as you saw on the title screen, I think you know who's the next and last character you're going to be finding is. Cheating the system. The infinite flip. decent boss. Honestly, I'm only letting him hit, him hit me once. Having flame sword is pretty good for this battle, not gonna lie. Ow. If I can use it, I haven't played this game in a while, but still, no excuse. Second phase. He floats. He floats. He is now dead. Ow. Now we have the entire Kirby team. Yeah, I got the card. I'm a card chuck. Land chuck, beware. And as you see, we got all the crystal shards for this place. So I'm going to cut it off right now so we can do Wispy Woods. So be right back. Alrighty, let's do this. Now if you have to still have the flame sword ability, I would advise you to have this for this boss battle. This makes this battle this much, that much easier if you do. Believe me when I say that much easier. All you need to do is run into them with your back turned to one of the baby wispy woods and destroy them all. Then here comes the second phase. If you have your sword above you, he says, Burning the pain can't hurt. Throwing your sword is a, one of the most useful techniques here. Stop raining. It's raining food storm. Yes, because if you throw the one sword one direction and the throw another sword the other direction, you can get a lot more variety of stuff to I'm just doing it to the music. So what?
as you can see, this level, world, level, world, level, apparently, to the threat of real world, is now complete. And now we have made it on to level 2 Rockstar. But, for now, you guys, next time on Let's Play Kirby 64, we will start and begin, begin and get, try to get done Rockstar. So I've been your game player and commentator, Multi12689. See, see you guys later, and see you guys at the next part.